Has the, has the episode started? Huh. Yeah, we started. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Florida Man Podcast. <laughs> My name is Andrew Lopez. I just don't know if we need to do like formal intros for these. We could. I, you know, I, I think it's I always fair. Know. Let's do a welcome back. Hello, welcome back. My name is Andrew Lopez. I'm the band director of Constant Middle School, uh, West Palm Beach, Florida. Hi. Hi, welcome back to the Florida Band Podcast. You know why you're here. My name is Chris Gordon. I'm the band director at West Palm Middle School, Park, Florida. <laughs> Hi, my name is AJRC. I'm the band director at Coral Springs Middle School in Coral Springs, Florida. Uh, so as you guys can tell, this is a, a much more casual episode. This is just kind of like <laughs> our check-in, saying, hey, you know, how is everybody? Um, how things have gone? And uh, yeah, how, we, shoot, how we wrapped up October. Sh- <laughs> yeah. Commiserating. I, I don't like that word, because, like, I'm not miserable. I was last well, night. Facts and then, don't care about your feelings, bro. I know. I was last night when I dumped a lot of what <laughs> I can't dump uh, on here. But uh, we'll. Uh, I'll try to. I'll try to. Touch yeah, his, you took a massive dump last night. I'll try to. <laughs> I'll try to touch on like as many of those things as I can without throwing too many people under the bus. Because like, man, I AJ, I'll, like you'll find I had a rough like two weeks. Not fun. Um. So, but anyway, uh, it is, you know, we're approaching, approaching Thanksgiving, you know, at this point. So it's talking about, you know, uh, where we are with our direct, our beginners, you know, how things are shaped, quote unquote, where are we, um, trying to shape up, you know, things coming through the year, just a general stories. Like anybody have anything right off the bat, other than the fact that we've had, you know, so much time off. Yeah. It feels like we just came off of Thanksgiving. Seriously. Yeah, it does. Seriously. Because the hurricane. This Which is was, our second hurricane in yeah. a month, I think, right? In about 30 we've days, lost yes. Another, yeah, in about 30 yeah. days. We've lost another two days. Because I remember, was it last time we... Yeah, we lost two days last time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's, that's almost a whole week of school that we weren't planning for. Well, I have a... Um, man, I've, does it throw, throw, throw us off. Because every time I come back, it's like relearning stuff. Yeah. No. Yeah. We um I, I I did the math since since we've started school, whether that's for the fridge that went out or my AC or I was sick two day uh, three days cuz I remember I was sick for like 10 days at one point. Um or just general this or that. Um in terms of days missed of school, it's almost it's almost 15 days. Which I've never been absent a year at school in my life for more than like 5 days. Um so it's been really weird to just be out this much for X and Y. Um, <laughs> it's just been weird. And, you know, trying to, you're right. It's Christian. You said it's like trying to get the, uh, the routines restarted every single time you come back. Mm-hmm. Slows things down. And I, I just missed seven days of school. Uh, last time we recorded, I was in South Carolina. Right. And yeah, I just came back last week and then this week we had literally <laughs> one day of school. <laughs> yeah. I came back last week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then this week, Monday, and then no school the rest of the week. Thanks to election, hurricane, and Veterans Day. People are freaking out about like everyone's be like, Man, the hurricane was such a non issue in South Florida. I just see I saw a picture on Facebook from Lee Sellers, who lives up in like northern Saint Saint Augustine. Yeah. And his whole, like, he just, he, like, it was from three days ago. He took a picture outside his, his front door, and there's the whole street's flooded. So it's Look, like, I get it. I mean, it's better safe than sorry. I'd hate to, you know, we, we're at school, and, you know, kids can't make it, or there's, there's buses toppling over, things like usually, that. Yeah, I that's get usually it. why they cancel school in the first place. Yeah. Right. Of course. It, yeah. So, in some ways, it sucks, but in other ways, I mean, it was nice to have the week off. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm I feel sure. good. I feel ready. I'm, I'm pumped to go back tomorrow. Um, you know, I just, I do. I want another hurricane? No. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, well, it's like that meme. Well, I take you, it. Yeah. You saw that meme where it's like, hey, we could. Re- it's November. We could really use some cooler weather. It's like best I could do for you is a hurricane. That's the best I got. <laughs> 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 but like, uh, yeah, no, nah, I, I get it, man. Like. um it does it, that that off time does feel kind of nice because like with the off time that we had marissa was able to get over her major hump of grad school and we were able to kind of 
you know, with the fridge and everything back our, our house up and running again, we were able to kind of like, you know, redo our laundry and get everything back to operating order and a clean home. That's been very gifted. Um, definitely not taking the off, to- the off time for granted. Andrew and I missed several days of school. Um, then we had the hurricanes. What else is going on? You said you had the AC, you had the fridge. Oh, we had to deal with this stupid countertop. Oh my God. <laughs> so the last episode, Christian was trying to get us sued by Home Depot. And like, you can tell the story. Just don't, just don't get us sued by Home Depot. Home Depot doesn't give a crap. Yes, they do. <laughs> no. I'm just, I'm never shopping at Home Depot again. Ever, 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 ever. But we finally got our countertop. We have our sink. Our dishwasher hook is hooked back up. Oh my God, did I just want to take a bath in that sink because... I thought he was going to take a bath in that sink. sink. I was like, whoa. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I I did dishes for a whole day, like when we had the sink, when we got the sink. It was nice. Uh, Yeah, so don't take your sink for granted. (laughs) But uh, yeah, so that, I feel much better now that we have that counters done and sink is done so anybody else have any other hiccups aj what you got nothing on the personal side or at home side i mean we've been kind of sprucing up we just moved into a new apartment like a month and a half ago and we've been just trying to you know make it look a little bit better like there was no like the garden area like where you walk in was like just all dirt so Mm -hmm. it just didn't really look too good so we took it upon ourselves to just mulch the whole area um you know we put some stepping stones down we put you know we put little pavers to line the mulch uh just so it looks a little bit more presentable uh i think my next project i ordered like a 50 foot strand of plastic led bulbs so if we're gonna you know i want to host you know a couple things like if we're gonna watch football games or Mm -hmm. just hang out you guys can come over um I gotta figure out how to hang that up. So you know, as that's that's Kaylin, nice yeah, or Marissa, yeah. they both they both do it. Yeah. yeah. Um. Oh dang! I had some. Oh, concerts. Yep. We haven't. I don't know. Right. If this is a band podcast. I forgot. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. I don't. I can't remember if we talked about our concerts or if we did, and then the audio was bad, and so we should talk about it again. I can't remember, but we could just talk about them briefly. Sure. I'm cool with that. West Glades Band's fall concert went very well. Very pleased. And uh, the kids are ready for the next one. So, costume contest. Favorite costume was this kid. He's like, he's a sixth grader and he's like six feet tall. And he oh, just yeah. dressed up as a I taco. And yeah. Oh, here's the thing about this kid. So, he won. <laughs> he won the costume contest for beginning band. He won a $20 <laughs> Visa gift card. And oh, I found yeah. the Visa gift card on the ground the next day in the band room. And I'm like, he literally just dropped his gift card. Are you serious? So I uh, went online to see if the balance had been tampered with or anything so I could give the card back to him. Well, turns out he spent the $20 on Roblox before he even left campus. <laughs> he literally bought Roblox with the card power before move. he left school. Such a power move. <laughs> he left like one cent on He there. left one cent, yeah, because it was nineteen ninety nine. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I love it. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. Uh, how about you, Andrew? How was your concert? It was good. Something's um good. I think when we talked about concerts last time, I think my concert had happened, but yours hadn't happened yet. Um because I do remember us well, talking about the concerts. You were you were you were gonna push yours back? I I did. Did you end up pushing it back? Not really. It was a the set. It was the what day? Was it the thirteenth or the? Oh, it was the eleventh. It was the eleventh, I think, of October. Uh, it was the first half of the month, and it was good. You know, kids. Uh, it was. It was nice to be able to push my beginners to 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 get them ready without sacrificing quality. Um, the informants was really nice. I really was. It was such a good concert. I was so proud of my my second band because the the. The Wind Ensemble doesn't perform at the fall conference or co- concert because they do middle school night, and that's our performance. Um, so I can focus on fundamentals. But um, the uh, the second band plays as like the premier group 
for for that concert, which is nice because they get to be the premier group. Um, and they they uh, we did we I got new uniforms this year, so uh, both the beginners have uniforms for the first like I've never done beginner uniforms before. They did like a nice white dry fit polo. It looks great. Um, and the 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 veterans now have a black polo with the uh our logo in in just white and black and it looks it looked really really great the kids looked awesome there were a couple uh seventh graders who did not get the memo and uh they showed up in jeans and i'm like dude you you look you look like larry the cable guy with your polo tucked in like (laughs) um and i i told them you know i was like you know you're showing up your your grade is discounted um and part of the reason why i made beginners do the polo and i know christian you you guys do beginner uniforms too and aj do you guys do beginner uniforms i don't i don't know well i mean they're not specific to beginners Right. right but it's so a uniform did- expectation yeah so i i've never done that typically for beginners what i've allowed them to do is just wear really nice clothes um every year i've done it i got sick of it and sick of it and sick of it and last year i hated it so this year i had them do that and the uniform and the obvious lesson that i've learned is having the beginners do a uniform means that by the time they get to seventh grade they already know the uniform expectations so you don't have larry the cable guy on barry Sachs. Um, everybody, they, they've done uniforms for four concerts already at least. So they know I have to have X and Y, um, with my, with my polo. Mm-hmm. So that was really mm-hmm. nice. They looked really great. My sec, the symphonic band, they sounded so good. Um, they really did. Like they, they did a great job. Um, they played the, I think you did the Jurassic Park with your symphonic second, you're the concert band too, right Christian? Yeah. 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 yeah they, yeah. they played the snot out of it. You know, it was great. Uh, parents were very happy. Our principal was able to make an appearance, and um, it's tradition at Coniston that all everyone, all support staff and administration, just make fun of me in front of parents. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> it's a good relationship. But like, uh, you know, and Marissa was there, and the kids, the kids like seeing her because she's a rock star, and to them, and uh, it was a, uh, it was great. So I had a lot of fun, and then just ever since then it's been rocky starts because miss, missing time off and x and y but you know we've talked about that already well, well i wanted later. to let you know that uh for the beginners we didn't do line 11 we actually did line 12 in front of go. the parents the we kids did too freaked out some kids almost passed out they were so scared but isn't that great no though <laughs> it did well oh i mean they all the next day they were like the practice steps work Basically. So the buy-in is definitely there for that. How about you, AJ? I was at your concert. What did yeah. you, th- you think about your concert? How would your concert go? Um, I think that the kids were really excited. They were very excited. Um, our auditorium is a little, I wouldn't say cramped, because we do have a good size. It's a cafeteria. Yeah. Yeah, it's a cafeterium. Um, but, you know... They had a great time, you know. They enjoyed the costume contest. Um, I think that there were a few things that could go a little bit better in terms of logistics. Uh, we did take a long time to get through the concert. It wasn't didn't go as smoothly as I would have liked, uh, but that just comes with the kids doing it over time. So even the eighth graders, this is only their second year really doing a concert. Mm-hmm. Um, and last year we only did two concerts. So take that as it is, you know, the eighth graders were still pretty, I mean, they were vets at doing this, but, you know, they still kind of acted a little green when it came to, you know, how we act when we're sitting down, if we do concert observations, um, you know, I think there was also just excitement because, you know, they wanted to cheer for the best costume, um, now, the I think I talked about this in the last episode, but we didn't get to release it. But my top group is really like a middle group. Um, yeah. And it's pretty on the immature side when it comes to the, uh, the skill level and just the overall mindset of the kids. Uh, those eighth graders, again, uh, most of them were in my second band last year. And... They didn't really get a good start their sixth grade year because that was all online, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. their experience was not the best. But 
Um, they did come out swinging. I was very proud proud of them uh, for what the work that they did. Uh, we did only play one piece and uh, one movement of that piece. So it was like a like a Harry Potter theme. And is that uh, the the Hedwig's theme and then the other one? Yeah. 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 So. You know, we, we did a lot of fundamental work, and it's showing now. So that back then, like, what was that, a month ago? Mm-hmm. Almost a month and a half ago. Um, a month. Today's yeah. the 13th. So at that time, they were just starting to understand, you know, this is what we perform. And I would say about – it's a pretty – even split, probably 60-40. 60% of the kids in that group were in beginning band last year. Mm. And this was really their first exposure, real exposure, to something that had, you know, different rhythms other than just quarter notes, half notes, whole notes. Um, you know, where they had to play it over a long... It's like, quote, real music. And yeah, yeah. yeah. Entrances real at different music. times for different instruments. You know, we, we go over that in the book. Yeah. We go yeah, over yeah, the rhythm yeah. charts, but... When they, you know, you got to put it all together. That's a whole different story. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I was proud of them, but man, I am needing to be on them every single day. Uh, Hard to do with a hurricane, though. <laughs> with two hurricanes. <laughs> two hurricanes. Yeah. 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 So Did you guys, that, that right. group, yeah, is go ahead. just Sorry. we're gonna need a lot. Come on, of, Christian. You know, just getting back to it. Uh, to understanding this is the standard, you know, going through all of our practice steps. A lot of the kids were not exposed to those practice steps. And this is really the first year where we're streamlining the curriculum so that everyone is on the same page. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it'll get there. It just takes time. Uh, We had a Veterans Day performance on Friday. We had 15 band kids and four orchestra kids. They played uh, the national anthem and marches of the armed forces, and there were a couple speakers and some poems read. And for the city of Parkland, it was really nice. The kids had a good time, I think, even though it was really hot. Oh my god! And you were wearing a suit, dude. I took that suit straight to the dry cleaners. <laughs> straight to the dry cleaners, cause man, it was hot. God, I hate Florida. Why does it stay hot? It's you. It's because you're in South Florida. That's why. Oh uh, yeah. It's South Seriously, it's a Orlando, problem. Orlando and higher is not as bad, like at all. Um, trying to think if we had anything else going on other than our concert. Anyone have anything? I mean, uh, trying to get jazz band started. Uh, it's tougher this year because last year I had two drummers. One of them played drums. The other one didn't. So the one that did play drums taught the one that didn't. This year I've got one drummer who doesn't know, and I'm having to teach him, which it's last year. The rhythm section was better than the winds, which always makes for a good jazz band because a good rhythm section can make anybody sound good. Um, Where last year, a lot of my wind players in the jazz band were learning a second instrument. This year, the winds are great because most of them are on primaries. But my rhythm section is very green other than the piano player. So like I'm Mm -hmm. having to tell them ttp like it's like wind players trust me it's gonna give me give give me a couple weeks give us give us some time the drummers need to learn they got to get their hands and then we'll be able to you know because the bass player knows how to play the piano player knows how to play but that drummer is just new um so we're just having to speed that up um and then other than that it's just running pbc bda making sure that (laughs) oh yeah so we're gonna talk about that next (laughs) but i wanted to add uh something new we did this year is uh, play at some ba- home basketball games. So we had a little pep band uh, play, stay after school, play the National Anthem. Your school's Anthem basketball season's already in play? Oh, yeah. yeah. Ours, too. Yeah. Ours is, well, uh, Broward was all the same, but ours is probably... <clears throat> so we get out of school. We get out of school at 345, and then the game starts at 430. So they stay till 430 and play, and then we feed them pizza and then tell them to go home. So we did that twice, and we have a new athletic director in... She wants us to play at some football games, too. So I was like, we'll see. Give me the deets. I don't know about staying for a whole football game, but, you know, maybe till halftime or something like that. I think or, we might do it, too. Play, or just play at the start. Something like that. So 
That's what we're looking forward to. Like flag football? All right, so how is... Uh, hmm? Like flag football? I, it might be flag football. I don't know. Weird. But, yeah, that's going to that's gonna start soon. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'll let you all know how that goes. But I think it's cool that we're going to get in front of the student body a little more. And I need to do what AJ does is put the drum line or the marching band out in front of the car line this year too i'm sure that would yeah we do that every cool. friday and you know all the kids are like yeah you know like they stay and watch for like 10 15 minutes just chilling just yeah, chilling yeah. out in front of the school and you know the teachers are there too it's a cool thing that's cool. so andrew you've taken on the task of running pc pbc on, bda PBC, Palm Beach PBC, County, PBC, bda pcp <laughs> doing lots of pcp um PCP, yeah <laughs> uh pbc bda it's Palm Beach County Band Directors Association. Uh, it's just been challenging this year. This year, we've had a lot of hiccups in that, um, like, the, how the team runs has been pretty smooth, but we've had a lot of issues with keeping clinicians this year. Almost our entire clinician slate has changed from what we voted on in May because people either never got back to us or they did, but then things were double booked. Um, it's challenging. And... Like, as of this morning, quite literally this morning, I woke up to a text message and we finally got our 9-10 court uh, clinician swept away. It was supposed to be Michael Antman, which we were really excited about, and Mike was too. He was disappointed that um, he couldn't make it, and as were we, because Mike, Mike ones run a hell of a of, a, of an honor band. Um, so we got instead someone else, um, and... I'm just really happy that they're ready to go. Like they, they text me. They're like, Hey, so like the auditions are pretty soon. Music's going to come out soon. What do you need from me? I said, you're going to get an email on Monday of all of the stuff that I like. It's like, it's, I told him, I said, it's going to be clutch because we've got less than a month to get everything sorted out and prepared. So that way we can pass things out to students um, and auditions because auditions for us are the first or second week of December. I think it's, Dece- it's either December 6th or December 7th. Um, Cause my concert's on the 9th. And then Marissa's is on the eighth. Um, so it's either the sixth or the seventh. I think it's, I think it's the sixth. Um, but so it's a lot of, it's been a lot of that. And then, um, you know, all I'll say, <laughs> uh, is one, when you are in charge, when you send out a lot of emails, BCC lesson learned. Um, number two, common thank you christian common courtesy is um do not reply all all of the time thank you and can you uh, elaborate that sounded that sounded a little too vague i'm not i'm not gonna elaborate i can't do it because otherwise we can't air this and (laughs) can i okay okay so you're talking about because you're the coordinator you're 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 running all county chairperson yeah beach Chairperson. Okay. I have my coordinators and on my team. When you you send out information to all the band directors who have students participating, mm-hmm. auditioning, things like that. Okay. When you're sending out emails, you're you're CCing everybody, and you're saying that <clears throat> common courtesy, professionalism standard is if you have a question directed at you, don't hit reply all. Yep. Like a dumb. Ass. Yep. Got it. Okay. And then it's also yeah. Thank you for drawing. It's also the yep. idea. How long of, has the email been around for? Hey, I'm taking the heat because because I said it, not you. I know. I know he did. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's well. It's also just the idea of um, the other thing that I was dealing with this week um, in regards to that was it was just um, impatience. You know, because this this week for PBCBA was a really really hard week because we had all county jazz scheduled on wednesday and thursday and And what did we have on wednesday and thursday a hurricane so it was a lot of like monday (laughs) monday and tuesday my priority in the middle of the doing the mental health training which is another conversation that's super fun um you know doing the mental health training i was i I told the the trainers i was like i'm gonna step out like every five minutes to answer this phone call or send this text so if i step out uh it's not because i hate you your content is boring but I have to go, <laughs> but I have to go handle this. Um, and it was literally like for the first like three, four hours, just oh, I was on the phone with Larry. I was on the phone with our clinicians. Um, I was on the phone with my, with our, with the 
PBC BDA secretary. I was on the phone with coordinators. I was on the phone with hosts, like getting everything moved, getting everything rescheduled, making sure everything was ready to go. Um, all the while receiving emails saying, you know, why answer me? And I'm going, no, um, <laughs> cause so, you know, people being inconsiderate. Yes. Um, which happens in every organization all the time. It comes with the territory of being in leadership. Um, yep. But all I'll say is it's the great Scott Tobias's ism is it's not what it is how. It is not what you say to me. You like Christian calls me a dumb ass on the daily, but he says it with love. And so I feel just a little <laughs> bit better about it. But like it's not what you say, it's how you say it, man. And professional courtesy is being being nice. It's my it's my rule of thumb that if you if you ask me something rudely, I did I choose not to answer. Um very good. So yes. So yeah, there's um there's 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 some uncut NSA tape in Christian's house of my super long rant. <laughs> and if we can find it, <laughs> we'll we'll air it. But like, man. <sighs> I think my 85-year-old neighbor, Miss Jean, she was listening. She might have the recording. Oh yeah. Uh, but I mean like in <laughs> doing doing that with some margs and some refried beans was was a good was a good touch. Hey, how are those beans though? Uh my my asshole hurts. Like <laughs> wow. But like it always does. So like whatever. Like, if anybody if, if you ever know anything about me even for five seconds it's i love pooping like it's just it's a thing so do you have hemorrhoids uh no michael scott level no that's good no but i no thank I god anyway <laughs> anyway but yeah so that was kind of like the, the bulk that was the biggest thing was just you know we because we, our clinicians were um pair danielson oh, <laughs> oh, what happened? I was going to play a meme about the beans. Oh, oh. God. <laughs> Our, um... you and you act like a baka? What? <laughs> <laughs> you act like a baka? I got to find that. Sussy baka. Um, oh, God. oh, my goodness. But yeah, it's like, like uh, the guy that says, Beans, what yeah. the f***? <laughs> yeah yeah um oh uh, god but like no nah, it was it was really cool because you know a lot of people were freaking out and they're like man the clinicians are like really upset and so i gave the clinicians a call they're like that's cool man hurricane i was like thank you you're not upset i don't okay, well andrew anyway. what's happening is you're in a position of leadership but you're a younger band director yep. i mean you're in your eight yep total okay yeah so uh, but you have you have band directors that have been teaching longer than you. They're just straight up disrespecting you, bro. I know. Take that to the schoolyard and do some foursquare. It's unfortunate. They should know better. I know. But anyway, uh, so that I don't tell us tell us about the mental health training. What, what's what's up with that? Well, so uh, here's my question because it's a state of Florida thing. So do you got have you guys heard anything about it at all? I don't think I have. Because it's the state shaking his head no. It's no. a state of Florida thing. I, it might show up at a later PD. I don't know, but like, band directors all over our county, and like I know a couple of owners in, in Orlando have been having to deal with PD for this. It's not a bad PD. Like it's really not at all. It's just time consuming because it's a six point five hour professional development session total. Um, I know some some schools have broken it up. Um, what we did at Coniston was at the last week of of the last quarter all of the like gen ed teachers um did it on separate days like there was like a sixth grade mm -hmm. day a seventh grade day and an eighth grade day and then all mm -hmm. of the elective teachers and support staff had to do it tuesday and so and it was us and then people from like woodlands middle school um and the pd was really like it was good like when you get into the content of it it really is like it's it's one of those things that we all know about you know it's talking about you know it's called mental health first aid. So it's the idea of recognizing signs and symptoms of, of mental health problems, whether that be anxiety, depression, suicide. In um, yourself or in your students? or both? In your students. Um, okay. And so just being aware of it, going through, going through like a thousand different scenarios of it and just having conversations and everything like that. Like it wasn't a bad PD. It was just long. Um, and mm -hmm. it was only... It wasn't, I'm not going to use the word inconvenient because it wasn't, because that was the only thing I had to do that day, um, was that mental health training. It was just, just a challenge having to do that on top of, 
uh, hurricane rescheduling. So, but like, no, the PD was for fine. Like, if you, yeah, for all counties. Oh, okay. If, if you guys have to do it, like, it's not the worst thing ever. Um, there have been more s- silly PD in our lives. At Westglades, we had suicide training. Uh, so I don't know if that covered the mental health part of it. I don't it know, might have been it. it. I don't know. Hour, it was a two hour thing, and we had somebody from the state level come and do it. And man, it was sad. It was heavy. Um, they gave out these bracelets. I'm showing it to the camera, but it's these tie dye brace- bracelets. It, it, it was uh, put on by the Jason Foundation. It was a kid that committed suicide when he was young, I think 16. Sure. And uh, it was very eye opening. And I've recommitted to being much, much more nice and loving to my students <laughs> based on the information that was given uh it it all just comes down to you you just have no idea what these kids may or may not be going through it's it's insane and and as teachers at, at first it was like as, as teachers you have the responsibility to help these kids you know emotionally but it's not it's not a responsibility it's honestly a privilege if you think about it it's a privilege so that's going to be my paradigm shift for the rest of the school year and beyond so i'm i'm wearing the bracelet i'm not saying i'm mean to my kids if anyone's mean it's andrew <laughs> he would agree yeah but, but i'm gonna be i'm just yeah. gonna be nicer the tough love is gonna be less tough but I'm going to be nicer. Going to be nicer. It's not what you say. Andrew it's how you say I, it, man. Not Andrew. There you go. It's not what, it's how. And that's why I get away uh, with what I say, because it's not how, it's not what I'm saying. It's, the, it's, I, I yell at you and I call you silly in much meaner terms with love and not with, not with disdain or I, I want to, I want to make, I want to make more of an effort to, to just have more moments of being nice. So, just so it tips more in that favor. So, as kids are getting ready for class or, you know, during class, if I can remember to be like, okay, that actually sounded good. Or, like, to point out when a kid is, like, doing really well. I just want to do more of that, Mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Or even beyond that. Yeah. You know, just... Even beyond that. Sometimes I'll just ask, you know, a student if they told me something about their pet or something like that. And I remember the name of that pet or I remember something about their family or whatever, just asking them a simple question about that Mm -hmm. will in their head say, Oh, he was listening or, Oh, uh, he cares what's happens. What happens outside of band? Yeah. Um, Yeah. So actually this past Friday, um, I had a kid that wasn't sure if he could do the veterans day gig or if he could do it, he was going to be late. Because he had to get an MRI. So I took it upon myself to be like, how was your MRI? Yeah. So, oh, and I, and I also told him, like, heads up, I had an MRI. And here was my experience. And, you know, I, I made it like a, like a, a, a good conversation. So he, he, he felt uh, comfortable sharing his experience. And we talked about how claustrophobic it is and how the sounds make you go crazy. And then we had another student who, after Kaylin and I got our cat, and we shared it with the band kids. She wanted to get a cat, and now she's finally getting a cat. And so she was showing me pictures of the cat and stuff. And, Do you, you I've know, mentioned so. this before. Um, I've mentioned it before on the podcast. Something, and I got it from my one of my one of my first APs at Coniston. I do it every day in every class, um, unless they come in poorly. But uh, <laughs> but I do it. Every, like, oh yeah, I do you do good news every every single day of every class. I'll pick two to three kids, and I'll say. Tell me your good news. And nine times out of ten, it's a birthday, whether it's their birthday or it's my mom's birthday or it's my grandma's birthday. But like, you'll get the kids like, "Hey, I'm getting a dog," and I'm like, "Oh my god, what dog?" And then they'll be like, "I'm getting a chihuahua," and I'm like, "That dog's a rat, right, kids?" And they're like, "Yeah." But then you know, we talk about, and sometimes like we'll name the like I've we've done games together in class where we've named the kids' pet for them because the kid was like, "I can't, I can't think of a name," so let's 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 come up with a name, and so. Like there were two goldfish last year that were named Mr. and Mrs. Lopez. Um, oh and, my gosh! Uh, super, it's super cute. But like, yeah, I do good news every single day for that exact reason. Because when you establish, I might, those, I might have to steal that. When you establish yeah. relationships with those kids, man, you they will die for you. And 
like not the dark way, but like they, you know, they, they really will. <sighs> Kids respond to relationships. And if they have a relationship with you, it's basic teaching. If they have a relationship with you, they will, you management becomes effortless because they'll listen to you. And then knowing things about these kids informs so much of how you speak to them individually, you know, cause you're, mm-hmm. cause it's not about treating kids correctly. It's about treating kids fairly, but that means treating kids differently based off who they are and their experiences and their emotional trauma and or lack of emotional trauma. So like it's, mm-hmm. you know, but establishing those relationships is the go-to way. Cause you know, sometimes like I'll have a kid, they'll be like, my good news is I've just had a really good day today so far. Like, yeah. And I'm like, and I'll be like, do you normally have bad days? And they're like, sometimes they're like this, you know, yesterday was really bad. And I'm just really glad that I get to be here. And then you always get the kid who's like, my good news is that I'm in band class right now. Um, There you go. And you know, that's, it's always uplifting towards the morale. I took good news, man. Every day do it. The only time I don't do it is when they walk in like jerks and I'm like, get out, try again. (laughs) Mm, mm -hmm, But mm -hmm. which, you know, is just rare, but like, um, it's, it's such a go-to. And I even start, um, I, there have been a couple times where like, I'll do PD for the school and I will do good news. Or, um, I remember a couple years ago, my, 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 I think it was like my first or second PBC BDA meeting. I did good news. I was like, anybody have any good news? Like, let's start it why not it's such a good icebreaker that stuff goes a long way yeah Yeah, and i think being the youngest out of the three of us i kind of have a good sense of relatability to them where they kind of see me as you know they can share a lot of those memes or gifts or whatever um i'm sure that you guys get that too Mm -hmm. um yeah you know just because we choose to stay with the times relevant relevant yeah um, and that goes a long way. Um, I know that there are times where you might have a band director that has no idea uh, what happens outside of the band program. And all they care about is what happens when you have your instrument in your lap. But, man, just, just going that extra little bit where you ask them or you show them something funny... Or you play something on for uh, like when they're walking in the room, you play something really ridiculous or funny or stupid or you know, and it kind of gets them you know out of this funk where they don't really want to be at school that day or whatever. It just allowing them to feel like it's okay to be weird, and that's something that I've had to realize for myself because when I was in band. I know that I was weird, but um, I st- definitely didn't. You still are. I definitely didn't. Yeah. You know, <laughs> but I mean, I, I was, I was, was, I was weird and awkward and way too serious about band. Yeah. And I'm, I'm for I, me, I had no I friends until high school. Wanted, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I just, for me in high school, it was like I kind of didn't want to associate with band kids because I thought it was. Mm. They didn't really fit what I wanted. I wanted to be more of a popular person. I wanted to be more of, you know, someone who... You wanted who, to be mainstream. Yeah. You wanted to be a normie. Yeah. And a I'm okay normie. To that. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I didn't want to be labeled like that. But at the same time, I realize now that it's so important to have a community like band that is so accepting and inviting. Mm-hmm. Um to anyone and allowing that to actually be a thing by doing those things by staying relevant by you know being weird and silly and stupid and showing your vulnerable side to students not all the time but every now and then that goes so far Mm -hmm. oh yeah thanks for listening to the florida band podcast follow us on youtube and contact us at flbandpodcast at gmail.com catch you next time